for your safety and the safety of others. It's at an airport like DIA, where we may tend to find ourselves focused. Focused on things like getting off the plane to get your bags. Yeah, baby. And for Michelle Horwich, accompanied here by her nearly two-year-old son, Nolan, it was a family trip from their home in California Monday to see in-laws in the Denver area that they were focused on. A focus that quickly shifted. And he felt a little bit warm, but like not alarming. She's uh, talking about Nolan. She noticed something may have been off on their way to the baggage claim area at DIA. Nolan was still asleep on her shoulder from the plane ride. And when they got to baggage claim, he was really limp. I was trying to listen for his heart because he just wasn't feeling right. He felt really weak. Um, and then I was saying his name and he wasn't responding at all. So Realizing his him. lips started to turn blue, his eyes rolled back and Michelle now calling for help. A family happened to be walking by and I probably noticed the look of panic on my face and asked if everything was okay. And I said, no, I don't think my, my son's breathing. That family and quickly helping out and eventually she says two doctors who just also happened to be in that part of the baggage claim helped out too. I thought my son was going to die in my arms and honestly these people just who have no connection to me at all were there for me when I felt I had nobody and I was so alone. Taken to a nearby hospital, Michelle says the paramedics told her it may have been a febrile seizure. It's a seizure or a convulsion that happens in the setting of a fever um, and, and it happens really in young kids. Nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley says generally speaking. Essentially what happens is that the brains of younger children are a little bit more sensitive to temperature and because they're still developing, they can react to fever in an unusual way. And as for Michelle, she simply says thank you to the strangers at the airport for helping her. I think we all can get wrapped up in being in a rush and, you know, got to meet whoever's picking us up. I'm so grateful for those who took their time um, to stop and make sure we were okay. Luis De Leon, 9 News. Little boy's out of the hospital, back home, and his mom says acting like a regular toddler again.